In the last lesson, we saw how VLOOKUP could be used to look up a price for an entered part number. Now let's take a closer look at the function to see how it works. First, the V in VLOOKUP stands for vertical, which means that you can only use the function in a list or table where the data is arranged vertically, like this data is. If you click in the result cell, in this case cell G3, in the formula bar, you'll see the formula used to calculate the result. First, there's the equal sign, which all Excel formulas begin with, followed by the name of the function, which of course is VLOOKUP. Then there's an open parenthesis, and inside are the function arguments. Arguments are simply the values that the function needs to carry out its task. For VLOOKUP, there are four arguments. Notice that when I click inside the arguments in the formula bar, Excel shows a tooltip with the name of each argument and also highlights the values associated with the arguments in the spreadsheet. The first argument is the lookup value. This is simply the cell that contains the value you want to search for. In this example, that cell is G2 because it contains the part number that we want to find the price for. Next, there is a comma, which separates each argument. The second argument is called the table array, which is the range of cells or the name of the table that contains your data. In this example, it's the range of data from cell A3 to D52, which is written A3 colon D52. When you actually enter a formula, which we'll do in the next lesson, you can select this range rather than having to type it. Again, there's a comma to separate the second and third arguments. The third argument is called the column index number, which is the number of the column from the left that contains the result you're searching for. In this case, we want the part price column, which is column C or the third column from the left. Notice that you use the number of the column, not the letter of the column heading. The fourth and final argument is the range lookup, which must be either true or false. If the lookup value, in this case the value we enter in cell G2, needs to be an exact match, you enter false. If the lookup value doesn't have to be an exact match, you enter true. The way I remember it is E, F, or exact, false. And finally, the closing parenthesis to close the formula. To get out of the formula bar without making any changes to the formula, just press Escape. In the next lesson, we'll create another VLOOKUP formula for data on this sheet.